over on the Intelligent Vision website, Intellivision.us, there was a gentleman by the name of David Harley who was selling game boards for the Intellivision. And at the time, it wasn't that long ago, he had Super Pro Baseball, Mystic Castle, and one other. It might, I can't remember which what the other one was. For three of them that were for sale, uh, they are no longer available for sale, unfortunately. But you can pick up the ROMs over at this website. But I was able to pick up a game board for the game Mystic Castle. I thought it would be cool not only to have that game, but to also pick up the manual for it. All right, so this is Mark Thompson's website, and he does this as a hobby. He created this website, markthompson.us forward slash Intellivision. And what he does is he has these game manuals, and some of them are homebrews, most of them are homebrews, and he has the catalog. And then included with those game manuals are, are the overlays. So. Let's take a look at one of them, and you, when you drill down, you can see what they are, how much they are. They're seven dollars plus postage, and shipping by first-class mail is a dollar in the U.S., a dollar fifty to Canada, and two ninety-five to other countries. This is the reason why he's able to keep the price down is because it's just really light paper, and it's like sending an um, envelope. But I think it's a it's a neat little value, and down at the bottom of the site. He has a link to his email address and then so anyway this is the website if uh, you're interested in picking up some of these manuals that you, you didn't if you didn't have the opportunity to buy these games or the manuals when they were first released like most people because they were mostly limited edition runs these these games so they're hard to get your hands on them you can go here to pick up those manuals and then for, uh, I picked up Super Pro Baseball and Mystic Castle, and I also picked up the, uh, what are you selling for the Super NFL Football, even though I don't have the games. So, uh, And then I also picked up the catalog here. Go check it out over at markthompson.us forward slash Intellivision. All right, this is what you get when you order The manuals from Mark Thompson. And what I ordered was the manual for Mystic Castle and then the let's get that out of there. Let's see what I ordered were the Super Pro baseball and the Super Pro football manuals. And uh, since I don't have either cartridge, I thought it'd be nice to get to get those. Ooh, came with the overlays too. Yeah. I don't know if, does this one have overlays? Oh yeah. Looks like looks like a furry monster, like Bigfoot, with a snake, and he's fighting off a dragon or something. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, you can order these from markthompson.us slash Intellivision. And then it came with, um, I'm not sure why it came with the football one. I got two of these. I guess I ordered these too, I'm not sure. All right, for, for this project, what I did was I ordered the game board for Mystic Castle. So let me pull that out and check it out. This is all, this is all it is. So, you know, an entire uh, Intellivision game, I guess. Which would have been a marvel in the 80s, but uh, now it's like you could fit a whole lot more information on, 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 a, on a board this size. But, so anyway, I don't have the, a, a spare uh, cartridge shell available. So that's why I had, I pulled out a few of these cartridges and then it reminded me I had these really cool overlays that I bought off of Atari Age and I have a video on this um, and it really enhances the quality or the look of those cartridges. I, I, think it's, I think it's terrific. And so what you'll notice is on the back of the Intellivision cartridge are these triangular screws on some of them and then some of them have regular screws 
And so I was just going to do this one here, Space Hawk, because I don't, I don't even know where if I have a triangular screw uh, driver or whatever those are called. But for that, I don't have the tool for that. So let's uh, open this up. And don't worry, I, I am not going to. I'll trade it back out when I'm done with it. I'm not going to destroy the original game for sure. And let's see if I can open this case up. Oh wow, not quite as shiny as this one, huh? Let's see if I can pull it out. Yeah, oh yeah, it just comes right out. So there's Space Hawk. Oh wow, a much different um, resistor, uh, transistor board right there. Uh, I think the, the difficult part here is going to be determining which way is right side up and uh, which way do you put it in the cartridge case. So I'm going to guess it goes in this way because the other board had these chips on the bottom side when you threw it in. So let's see if that works. If I can get this in here. There we go. All right. Let's button it up and give it a shot. All right, so here's my temporary setup for the Intellivision. And I have a TV right here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And turn it on. So you can tell, or you can see right away that it worked right off the bat the way I did it. Or I guess I assumed right I did not have to unplug it and flip it the other way and damage my Intellivision. And I'm going to check the, I'm going to play this game for a few minutes and check it out. Okay, so just a quick review, if you do ever buy one of these game boards, at least this model of game board, it's not obvious uh, how you plug it in. Do you plug it in this way or this way? But I know now for a fact that you plug it in with the, these outside chips pointing down. And so, anyhow, that's the lesson I learned. And this is uh, unfortunately over at David Harley's website. They're sold out now for uh, the game boards. And I, I picked this one up, I was lucky enough, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I should have got, um, I wanted the Super Baseball, but I didn't get it. Oops. Anyhow, I'm going to check out Mystic Castle, and maybe maybe do a quick quick gameplay section. Clearly released in 2016, this is Mystic Castle for the Intellivision. Right off the bat, what I love about this game is the attention to detail, the animated graphics, the title screen, and the wonderful music that it has. And so, I... Playing this game here in this little demo, I have to apologize. I cannot do a complete game review because I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so I was just running around the map randomly. Um, I didn't even know if that dragon was going to hurt me or not. And so I was grabbing pieces, but at this point in the gameplay, I had no clue um, what I was supposed to do with pieces or how to get to the next level. And so uh, I apologize for that. And I'm just kind of running around on that first map endlessly. <laughs> but I, I uh, when I get time, I'm going to learn how to play this game. It's it's really cool. It's it's uh, I love the the music in it, and it's it's how the the play field changes as you play. Walls appear and disappear as you're playing. So it's it's really fun, even on this first little map. <laughs> 